Hey, so we're here with Cameron and Ren, and they're a part of the Chicago Teens Gamer Guild. How has the planning, like in general, been for the gamers convention that's coming up? Overall, pretty great. It started out kind of rough getting everything together and deciding what exactly it was we wanted to do. Um, but after figuring out what we wanted to do and how we wanted to do it, planning things has been pretty fun, honestly. Uh, fun and sometimes stressful, but um, <laughs> overall it's been pretty good, yeah. And we've definitely had a lot of say in our planning. It's definitely our plans, which is nice. What is your favorite part about planning this? What's been your highlight? Uh, Ren just said it, but the amount of freedom we have to actually like put this thing together has been awesome. Like this is really our event. It's not just the event we're watching adults plan. Like this is something right. that we are it's actually like making. We're in yeah. charge of like everything, like the graphic design, what events we were running, where we're putting things. That's all kind of been like our jurisdiction. Um, I know that like all of it is kind of youth led. So like, what does that mean to you guys? A lot of times events don't always cater towards a younger audience and so it's kind of nice having a fresher view on things i suppose because teenagers and kids do think a lot differently from adults so i feel like it's kind of refreshing to have this new kind of perspective on gaming and event planning and at the same time it's teaching us like a lot of skills like management skills planning skills event skills it's really interesting because adults when they plan like teenager or like child like events most of the time they just assume what it is we like without actually asking us what it is we like and if they do ask us what, is, what we like it's typically just like a poll or a google form or something and it's not really us if that makes sense um and because it's like youth-led everything we're doing and making is coming straight from a youth perspective so it's really going to give the authentic like youth experience. Why do you think uh, creating this sort of like convention, gaming convention, is important for youth? It's kind of like a communal space for a lot of people to hang out. Like there's a lot of conventions around in the Chicago area because we do live in a bigger city, but they're not all easily accessible for people, especially teenagers, because they are so expensive to attend. And on top of that, a lot of the activities within the convention themselves are costly. Like, if you're not doing a bunch of panels, some of the only other options a lot of times are like artist alleys and dealers halls where you're required to spend money. And so they're not always friendly for people like teenagers who don't often have jobs or have money to spend on things like that. And so because it's a library run event, it is available to everyone. Yeah, and that's really cool too because you guys are getting paid to do something that you love. What are like things that you're planning ahead before the big convention? We've had a lot of lead-up events, mm -hmm. like events leading up to the con is sort of a practice. Like I ran a cosplay workshop panel. This weekend we're having a Mortal Kombat tournament. There's people over there practicing for it. Yeah, um, I ran a sort of scavenger hunt here too. Um, that's something that keeps me up at night, but honestly, <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited to Definitely have it Definitely one together. of the stressful aspects of Absolutely. planning Absolutely. What, what has your favorite lead-up event been and why? Um, despite the scavenger hunt being kind of my child, I would not consider it my favorite. Um, <laughs> it's really stressful and tiring and I love them, but it's like, eh, he's my favorite. Um, I think the tournaments is probably my favorite, my personal favorite, um, because I compete in tournaments myself and being able to host one, it's, it's something I've already wanted to do for a while. My favorite events are probably the cosplay events because I've loved cosplay and have done it for a really long time and I always do it at conventions. I go to cosplay meetups and I see voice actors of characters I've cosplayed. I've done that so many times. And I taught the panel in full cosplay, which is really nice. And the panel I taught was about how to make low-budget cosplay props, which I feel like is also playing into a theme of making things more accessible for people. Because I really enjoy it, and it is a personal hobby of mine, and I want to be able to share it with people. Yes. What else are you hoping to get accomplished before, like, I guess this term ends? Um, we have to figure out everything we need for our social media and marketing. Um, obviously, this event has been going on in the background for a little while, so we actually have to push it out to people. Um, that's what they're working on now is writing those emails um, and getting those emails out. To get the people to do the panels and all that other stuff is really important. Um, and I would say probably the most important part of setting. We're currently figuring out how to market things like our lead up events and our convention itself. And we're doing cold calls, 
uh, for dealers and panelists um, and possible artists. And at the same time, we have to put up websites, we have to put up social medias. Um, we have like all this stuff. It won't really be seen to people who are just attending the convention, but there's a lot more things that go into events like this than you would have thought. How are you guys advertising it? Like what's your catchphrase or your elevator pitch? So our convention is called Gamers Universe because it represents a universe of games. And one of the slogans we were kind of playing around with was buy teens for everyone. You asked how we're going to advertise it, right? Um, well, we have a website. There is we a will. website. <laughs> we are going to publicize this website eventually. Yes. And we're also making different social media accounts, Instagram, so on and so forth. Chicago Public Library website as well. And we'll have yes. posters and things as well. What you guys are doing is so amazing. Like, kind of, I think that it's the first ever youth-led gaming yeah. convention. And it's very impressive work, especially for high school, like doing this in like the level that you guys are doing it with all these lead up events and having like a big convention at the end and making a community where I actually feel like recognizing her. Honestly, yeah, y'all are doing amazing work. Shout out to our staff though, who are helping yes. us do this uh, because if we were doing this without guidance, we would have gotten so far off track. Honestly, so like, quickly. our group has clicked so much that we just sometimes like get yeah, way off task yeah. and their being there are we actually have a rule in place now that we're no longer allowed to play video games during meetings because yeah. it was literally becoming an issue because people would do we wait to do our genshin polls until we were all here and people would like be shouting uh <laughs> so we have rules now you're not allowed to play games when we're working